And now, your NBC 26 Storm Shield forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Well, across most of the country, we saw temperatures climb well above the averages for this time of year, where most of us up in the Midwest should be seeing the 20s. Clearly, we were much warmer than that in the 40s and 50s and 60s down to the south. And with the nice weather, I mean, we saw some nice sunshine out there. Just a few high level Sears clouds have been passing through, similar to what we saw during the weekend hours. And we are going to remain above average going into the next couple of days. The closer look here in northeast Wisconsin shows nice quiet conditions, no snow, no rain, nothing coming down from the clouds after we started off with a wet start to the month. Now we are turning quite a bit dry. Here's a little bit of some mid and upper level clouds moving in here from the west and southwest. Matter of fact, it's from a larger complex storm system way down to the southwest. For us, we have a high pressure keeping dry weather in store, but we have a couple of weak disturbances passing along and south of us, which one of those storms will actually act as a warm front to bring us even warmer temperatures as we get towards uh, Thursday. Here's a closer look at that more powerful storm with all that cloud cover lifting up to the northeast. What's happening is strong low pressure dipping the jet stream. That's causing it to buckle and transport a lot of this moisture up to the northeast, but not enough moisture for us to see any precipitation. Just enough that we will be clouding over as you get into the overnight and carry over into the next few days. So Skycast shows the clouds building tonight. Could have some patchy frost just a heads up as temperatures fall right around 30, 29 degrees or so. As we wake up and get into the afternoon hours tomorrow, mostly cloudy to cloudy conditions as temperatures climb to the upper 30s and lower 40s. And we get into Christmas Day itself. Very similar this time. However, on Christmas Day, as we get into the afternoon, could might have a isolated sprinkle as a warm front lifts north, but temperatures will be above freezing, so we're not going to be seeing any type of frozen precipitation and talking about frozen precipitation. The snow depth, it is slowly decreasing as we see 40s continuing to drop the amount of snow we currently have on the ground. So many of us will be seeing a brown Christmas this year. 34 right now with winds out of the northeast at 9 miles per hour. Sunset was at 417. The earliest sunset this year was 413. So we have gained a few minutes as we're starting to increase the amount of daylight hours. It is 36 in Kiwani, Manitowoc, 33 in Surgeon Bay, 33 in Mountain. The cold spot is in Antigo right now at 26. Winds coming in out of the east and northeast. They will start to bend a little bit out of the east and southeast tonight as temperatures fall down to 29 degrees with a little bit of an increase in cloud cover. Tomorrow we climb up to a high right around 40, mostly cloudy skies, winds east southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. For Christmas Day, 38, so remaining mostly cloudy, could have a few isolated sprinkles. Then as we get into Thursday, could have a couple slight rain showers. It does appear our next system that we'll have to monitor will be on Saturday. Saturday depends exactly where the track of the storm is. Could be rain, could be snow, or honestly, it could just miss us completely. So, All right, so we're going to have a week without snow. Yeah, it uh, looks like until the weekend, we don't have anything. We'll just dream of a white Christmas. There you go. All right, Gino, thanks so much. Still